This tutorial will cover Unity Physics. I will show you how to attach a collider to an object, as well as a rigid body, and how to create a physics material to affect how the physics behaves on the object. I will show you how to make something bounce, something slide, and something roll. And I will also show the difference between 2D physics and 3D physics. The first thing we want to do is create an object that will have our physics behavior. So I'm going to create a sphere from the 3D game object window. And to make it easier to see what the sphere is doing, I'm going to attach this stripe texture to it. You can use whatever texture you like just to make it easier to see which way it is facing. And by default, uh, a 3D object in Unity has a collider attached to it. If you import your own model, you'll have to add your own collider. You would add that with add component. And whatever collider is the best shape for that object. If it is a square shaped object, you can use a box collider. For a round object, you'll probably want to use a capsule collider or a sphere collider. And in some cases, you may want to use a mesh collider, but I recommend checking the box for convex. This will help make the physics behavior more uh, reliable. So my sphere already has a sphere collider attached. And the first thing I'm going to do is make it bounce. So I need something for it to bounce off of. So I'm going to create another game object. I'll create a cube. And I'm going to flatten it out so that this can be the ground surface for my ball. And I'm going to switch over to the game tab just so I can see if these are centered in my camera. If you need to move your camera, you can find the main camera here in your hierarchy and you can adjust it to make sure that you can see the object clearly in your game window. To give the ball physics properties, I'm going to select the sphere in my scene and add a rigid body component. And I'll leave use gravity checked. And now let's just hit play and see what happens. So the ball falls and lands on the ground. To change how it behaves when it lands on the ground, we can make a physic material. That's physic without an S. And we can find that if you right click in your assets folder and create, and down near the bottom is physic material and physics material 2D. We will use the 2D one when we do 2D physics, but for now we're just going to use physic material. And I'm going to call this one bouncy because that's what it is going to do. And here we have some variables we can adjust. We can change the friction and the bounciness. Dynamic friction is how quickly will it slow down when it's in movement. And static friction is how difficult is it for it to start moving when it is stationary. So for now, I'm just going to add bounciness. So I'll make this a bounciness of one and hit play. Let's actually attach that to our sphere. So the physic material gets added to the collider. So if we drag this onto the material slot and then hit play, and now we can see the ball has a slight bounciness. So the ball right now has bounciness attached to it, but the ground does not. So if we attach this bouncy material to our ground collider. Now both the ground and the ball are bouncy. So you can see the ball has a much more bouncy effect. Now if we wanted to see some differences in behavior, we might want to adjust the incline of this ground so it, it is a slope. And I'm going to make some other physic materials. So I'll create another physic material. I'm going to make this one slippery. 
and I'm going to make one more that's going to be rough. So for the slippery one, I'm going to turn the friction all the way down to zero for both static and dynamic. And for rough, I'm going to turn the friction up to, let's say, two for both dynamic and static friction. And so see the difference between these. We can attach them to our objects. So first, let's look at the slippery one. I'll place that on the ball and on the ground. So now there's no friction when the ball hits the ground. And you can see that it just slides along the surface. Now if I attach the rough material to both the ground and the ball, now instead of sliding, the ball actually rolls down the hill. And we can combine these. So if I wanted my rough material to also be bouncy, I could add bounciness here. And now it bounces and rolls. If I switch my slippery material to also have bounciness and attach that slippery material to the ball and to the ground, I can see that it doesn't roll, but it does bounce. What's a lot of fun to do with this is to create a few different shaped objects. So I will make a cube, and I'm going to give it my striped material because this is going to be a physics object. And I'll also make a capsule. And I will give different materials to each of these. So this one I'm going to make have the rough material. And the capsule, I'm going to just give the bouncy material. And the cube, I will give the slippery material. Oops. We do also need the cube and the capsule to have rigid bodies as well. And be sure to leave the box checked for use gravity. If you check the box is kinematic, that will make it no longer affected by physics. So be sure to leave that unchecked, but keep gravity checked. And now you can see how different shapes behave with the different physics properties. Now let's see what this looks like with 2D physics. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything that's in my scene. And to create a 2D object, you'll want to import your texture as a sprite. And to do that, change texture type to sprite, 2D and UI. Scroll down to the bottom and hit apply. And now I have a circle texture that I can use in my scene. I can just drag it into my scene and see my object. And I'm going to make sure this looks OK in my game window, first of all. And for this, we'll add a collider. This is going to be a 2D collider. We'll add a circle collider 2D. And you can see that that circle collider perfectly fits the outside of my circle texture. If you have a different shape besides a circle, you might want to adjust the radius so that it fits around your object the way that you want it to. And even if you have a 3D object, you can give it a 2D collider. So if I make a cube in my scene and position it below my circle. I can remove the box collider component and add a box collider 2D component. 
So this will allow this cube and this circle to interact, even though one is 3D and one is 2D. Just as before, I want to add a rigid body to the circle. This is the thing that's going to move. And this time we will use rigid body 2D. And in this case, you actually have the ability to change the gravity scale. A gravity of one will make it fall down. You could also use negative one, which will actually make it float. And if I change this back to one, we can see how it interacts with the cube. And just as with 3D physics, we can create our material properties. This will be physics material 2D. And you can see it has the same sort of icon, but this one has a flattened 2D version of the icon. And I will call this one bouncy. And this one only has friction and bounciness. I'll go ahead and make that bounciness one. And I will drag this onto the material property for the circle collider and for the box collider 2D and hit play. And now I can see my circle bounces just the way my sphere did. And if I wanted to have my ball roll, I could incline my ground plane and create a new physic material 2D called rough. And this one will have high friction to a friction of one. And I will attach my rough material to my circle and to my box collider 2D. And now my 2D object will roll down the incline. That's pretty much all you need to know to get started with physics in Unity. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial.